page 30, Gertrude and Elizabeth. Top of the page, they're telling you a nice, interesting little story. I don't know how true it is, but they're telling it to you. The point is, Beethoven wrote these melodies. There's two different melodies here. The first one starts, well, they've got it in the little letters there at the beginning. Gertrude's Dream Waltz, we're here. Till you get down to the end of page 30, and then it goes into the Furlis melody at the bottom line. And then at the end, of, or the last two lines on page 31, it goes back to the Gertrude's Waltz again. That's really the significance of it. It's really very pretty melodies. I'd like to talk about them briefly. Go ahead and follow their fingering, but watch out on this rhythm. At the beginning, one and two and three and one and two and three. Watch this fingering. See, the fourth finger is busy, and I like that. The fourth finger needs a little extra work occasionally, because it's a finger that doesn't like to work much, and we need to work it more. We really do. Last line on page 30, first measure. Watch this fingering. It's a D, uh, fourth finger on the D, and after that you'll be fine. In the left hand, you just got broken chords. Your hands are going to move around some. No sharps and flats except for the accidentals. They stick in, which they do. Second line, left hand is here. That last measure of the second line, you know those notes? I hope it's a C and an E. Third line, you have the G sharp. It's an A sharp, C sharp. Third measure of the third line. Be fun. I don't see anything tricky about the left hand except that it's moving. I would like to talk about this pedal. They're keeping the pedal simple for you and I could do a lot of things with this pedal to help this out. You see they're just showing you overlapping pedal at the beginning of this. So you're going to push the pedal down right after you play the notes and you're going to change the pedal at each measure right after you play the notes. Here. Giving that just fine, it's okay. I'd like to make a couple of suggestions to take out some of the blurriness and to let us hear a little bit of phrasing. See, in the right hand, the way that they have it marked, it's this way. There's a little silence between that. If you want to hear the silence, you have to pedal it accordingly. So it's like you don't pedal the first beat of the measure on most cases. Put the pedal down on the second beat. And lift it up on the first beat of the next measure. I wouldn't pedal the last measure of the first line at all. We don't need it. I like that better. Otherwise you're going to get this. Not pretty. This should be pretty. So I recommend don't pedal the last beat, uh, the last measure of the first line. Going on to the second line. Now I'd lift the pedal with the hands at the end of the second line before I go to the third, and then you can push the pedal down right after you play the second beat in the third measure, uh, third line there. It's the same pedaling as what I was doing before. You don't pedal the first beat. I'll give you another food for thought on this fur release melody that starts at the bottom of page 30. You can get away with not pedaling or lifting the pedal up right after you play the half note in the left hand. Because you don't, you hold that half note down, but you don't need the pedal there. So starting with the last line on page 30, it's here. That's clear.
cleaner. I like it better. It's up to you. It's a more difficult pedaling because now you're not just legato pedaling everything. And I do that all throughout this four leaf thing. That's the first three lines on page 31, the same thing, except for the last measure of the third line, you can leave the pedal down for the whole measure. Because that's a chord. And that's okay. We can mush up chords. It's okay. And then I lift the pedal at the end of the third line with the hand so we get a little silence before we go into the other melody again. And I wouldn't put the pedal down again until the second beat of the fourth line. So the third line ends here. I'll put the pedal down with the second beat. Don't pedal the last measure of the fourth line on page 31. Just leave the pedal up. And then put the pedal down on the second beat of the last line. the pedal and the hands come up at the same time. Those are a little trickier pedalings than are written. So if you're struggling, forget it. Just do it the way they're telling you to do it. But if you can, I suggest you take a pencil and write in these other pedalings I'm suggesting to you and try it out and see what you think. At the beginning of this, it says onomato, which is animated, which means it moves a little bit. I wouldn't move it too fast. It shouldn't go fast. But it's kind of how there's no set speed. They don't even give it a metronome marking. So it's up to you on how fast you want to play this. Really fast would be this. I don't recommend it that fast. I think it should be sweet. These are, these are almost like love songs here. Wise, you're starting out loud, but when you get watch these pianissimos, they're important. Like the third line down on, on uh, page 30 starts out soft, and you got three measures to get loud, so plan it out. The first measure soft, next measure will be a medium soft, next measure will be a medium loud, and then finally you're loud. Until you get to the second line on page 31, it's soft all of a sudden. You get down to the fourth line, now you're loud again, you're back to the original melody. I think it should have a retard at the end, they didn't do that. If you want to retard a little bit, I don't see anything wrong with it. I think that adds to it. Let's try this out slowly, check notes and rhythms and all that stuff, and I'll try and pedal it as I've suggested. Three, four times, and give us three counts. Uh, right hand here, this position. Left hand here, this position, foot's on the pedal, here we go. One, ready, and go, and...
This is such a pretty piece, I'd like to give you an idea of what I think it might sound like. It's just a suggestion. Please don't copy me. You, I've just given you an idea of what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. 